Mysteries at the Museum. It was autumn on the island of New Florida, and the trains were enjoying the foliage. Audrey was a brand new locomotive. She was pulling six cars of candy corn for the new science museum being opened for Halloween. There was going to be trick-or-treating. Becky was picking up kids for the event. Audrey puffed in. There's an event going on at the museum tonight, she said. That sounds like fun, said Becky. What brings you to Flatport? I have all this candy ready for the trick-or-treaters, said Audrey. Tomorrow, watch out for ghosts, stated Becky. They might get you. There's no such thing as ghosts, said Audrey. Camille, Nancy, Connie, Sherry, and Eve need my help. They're pulling the 310 freight cars today. Then she saw Camille. I'm glad you know me, said Camille. Glad you know me, said Sherry. So do I, said the other engines. Eve was in the rear, so they were all shunted into line. Here we go, all the engines said. They buffered up to some freight cars of candy, and they set off toward the museum. Camille, Nancy, Connie, Sherry, Eve, and Audrey made their way. We're doing our best, they said, and we'll never rest. And then they went onto an unusual track, because the tracks were tilted over. And then they arrived on California. They arrived at Rustington Union Station. Then an engine pulled up. Hexie puffed up. Be careful of the ghosts at the museum, she said. It's a mystery why you're gonna solve it. So some coaches were shunted into the rear and the six engines set off. Here we go, said Camille. I'm the leading unit of the train. Being a trailing unit's important, said Nancy. And then they steamed into a tunnel. It's our first time in a haunted forest, they said. And they turned the curve. They were being really cautious. They delivered their train right on time. And then they arrived to collect 310 freight cars. All set and ready to go, said Camille, because I'm the leading unit while you are all the trailing units. And then they steamed along. We have only one driver, said Sherry to Nancy. We do, said Audrey. The train was very long. And then they steamed over a bridge. This is the longest train we ever hauled, they said. 
It was a very long train, but the engines carried on. I'm leading the way, said Camille to Nancy, and they clattered along the track. And ahead was a railroad crossing. The white notation was important for steam engines, not for non-steam engines. But the engines carried on down the track. The mysteries at the museum were sure to be solved. As they turned the curve, The electrical current went through their wheels and it triggered the crossing gates. The six engines steamed over. Then there was trouble. A semi-trailer truck was stuck on the line and Layla was at a signal. Then Camille sounded the alarm. The driver heard a train coming. She got out just in time. And then the nuclear alarm went off forever. Much to Layla's terror. Let's get out of here! Moaned Layla. There's about to be a train wreck! Let's stop! Cried Nancy. Camille's driver slammed on the emergency brakes. But it was too late! When Alexia arrived, she was surprised. Luckily, no one was hurt, but a hundred and four freight cars had derailed. Some of them were on their side, but some of them were on the sleepers. And the six engines were toppled over. We're sorry about this, moaned Camille. We need to get back on the rails. I'll get Courtney, Casey, Penny, Rose, and Lees, said Alexia, and she steamed off. The six engines arrived, and then they buffered up to the train and brought it further on. While the sun was setting, the Amtrak trains were doing their work. 
while the sun was going down. All was going well while the trains were being useful. Becky and the other engine, the other trains were in Nutham sheds, and then Becky came over. I'm sorry you're about your accident, Becky said, and then she steamed off. And then she said goodnight to the other engines. I'm glad you're okay, said Casey. Courtney brought me here. She did, said Gwen. Have a good night's sleep, said Camille. And all the engines went to sleep. Early the next morning, the museum was complete. You two have solved the mystery, Cakester said. Now you should move forward. So Camille and the other engines moved forward. Forward. And they were the first engines to try out the museum exhibit.